Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Lessons. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Really appreciate your time, it means a lot. So today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at a fragrance that came out quite a few years ago. This one is marketed for women, and this one is called Burberry Brit Summer Edition. So make sure to stay tuned. Before I begin this fragrance review slash perfume review on Burberry Brit Summer Edition, and this is a fragrance for women, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxing, special guests, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, please be sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. So this is a fragrance that actually came out in 2012. So it's almost 10 years old, it's almost a decade old. And this is one that of course I purchased for my wife and I have smelled this on her so much. And so I'm quite familiar with the way that it smells. And of course, for my own personal analysis, I also put it on my own skin just to see how it sort of wears on my skin, how it lasts, so on and so forth. Now this is a, a summer-based perfume. And of course it has notes like tea and citrus. There's a little bit of pear in the opening as well to sort of create this effervescent and vibe in the opening. And then you also have almond and mahogany in there. Now the almond and the peony really rests at the heart of this fragrance and almond is one of my favorite ingredients. And so of course I was really excited to pick this fragrance up when I did, as my wife has been wearing it for many years now. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance, but let's start things off with the presentation. In the opening of this fragrance, you are going to get a little bit of the citrus and it's not a very bright and juicy and flavorful fragrance, but you are going to get more pear than bergamot. And so you are going to get a little bit of that fruity, effervescent, slightly sweet, yet smooth and crisp quality in the opening. And I feel like the pear that's used in here is very pleasant and it does a really good job. Now, I of course don't find the pear to be as strong as it's found in some other fragrances like Jimmy Choo for her, where the bottle kind of looks like a grenade. That has a very strong pear note in it. That fragrance was composed by Olivier Polge. Very fantastic fragrance. I mean, I personally really enjoyed the realistic nature of the pear. It's very youthful and flirtatious. This one is a little bit more smooth. It's a little bit more elegant. And I think it has more of a, a floral finesse about it. So you have the peony that's in the heart. And I'm familiar with peony as it's found in fragrances like Fleur Narcotique by Ex Nihilo or even Delina by Parfum de Marly. But I really think the note in this fragrance that shines the most is the tea. There's this smooth element about the fragrance. The almond is kind of in the background. The pear is in the fore until several hours into the fragrance and then it really very quickly recedes into the background. And so a part of me was hoping to get a little bit more of that juiciness of the pear and also that slight sweetness from the almond, which gives fragrances, in my opinion, a very quirky yet unique aroma that I think is very likable, very easy to get along with. And then in terms of the woods that are in the base, they're very smooth and subtle. Nothing really pops out at you. And, you know, as much as I kind of wished that the pear were a little bit stronger, so it would have been a little bit more fruity, a little bit more crisp and refreshing. I can see how the tea vibe is contributing to the fact that this is a flanker designed for summertime wear. And so as far as what the company Burberry was going for, I think they hit the nail on the head, but as far as it would have catered to my own personal preferences, I personally would have preferred to see the almond be a little stronger and also the pear be a little stronger. The peony I think is used in right uh, the the right amount of balance I don't think it should have been any stronger or weaker and I think it complements the tea note in the opening very well but I personally like I said would have loved to smell more of that peony and that almond but nevertheless I think it's a pleasant fragrance my wife loves wearing it it's not my favorite to smell on her and I know this one is becoming a little bit harder to find now believe it or not I went on 
A bunch of different websites, Kohl's did not have it. It said they were out of stock. FragranceNet does not have it. Walmart, on their website, they have two left in stock and they were selling it for like 90 bucks or something like that. So it is becoming harder to find. So if you have it, you have it, hang on to it. I'm not sure if it's discontinued, but I have a feeling it's not really in production anymore. Don't quote me on that, but I did have a hard time finding it online. So let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I don't find this to be too unique of a fragrance. It feels like with a lot of the elements that are in there, I've kind of smelled them before, like the tea note that's used in the opening. And I've also encountered that tea note in some Bulgari fragrances, especially a lot of the Eau Parfumé, Ote, whether it's Vert, or I think they have one called Rouge as well. Um, the tea that's used in those fragrances is quite exceptional and I really enjoy them. But the overall smell of this fragrance is very pleasant, very easy to wear, definitely gives off a fresh, carefree, slightly flirty summertime vibe that I really do appreciate. In terms of the longevity, you can expect about five to six hours on your skin. The projection for this fragrance is great for the first hour of application. It never really radiated beyond an arm's length and I think that's because the pear and the citrus is not as strong as it could have been, but you are going to get a pretty consistent performance from this fragrance for at least the first three and a half to four hours of application, but the total longevity, I would set the cap at like five hours. Versatility is very good. I probably wouldn't wear this one in the dead of winter. I think this one would probably appeal to uh, women who are a little bit younger. Um, I do think it's feminine leaning on account of the florals and the pear, the peony that's used in here, and the musk in the base. I do find it to be pretty feminine leaning, and I can see this one being worn casually as opposed to formally. Presentation on this one is pretty cool. It matches the men's counterpart, especially with the plaid on the front. So my final verdict is, if you are a fan of summer fragrances or if you are a fan of tea-based fragrances and you're looking for a solid fragrance, I think that there are a lot of other better options on the market. Even if you are a collector and you're like, I don't have this in my collection, I collect women's perfumes and I would like to have it, this is probably one that you can live without. It's a very pleasant fragrance. I enjoy smelling it on my wife, but it's not as special as it could be. So. There you have it, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you took something of value from this video. If you do own or if you've tried Burberry Brit Summer Edition for women, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, like I said, if you're new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, I would really appreciate it if you would consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, please be sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. Thanks again for watching. Love you all and we'll see you soon. Bye.